Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the new Creative Commons Chrome extension to find pictures that you can use and reuse without having to leave the tab that you're currently viewing. So let's say you're on any web page in the world, doesn't matter where you are, it can be on this awesome web page. And then you have the Chrome extension installed, the CC Chrome extension, just click on it once, and it will open up, and you can now do your search for, let's say, a picture of a dog. And we'll find, oh, there's a cute dog picture. Click on that, you can get your image attribution information with just one click, just copy that. Now you can paste it into a document or wherever you want to put it to give attribution to the author of that image. You can also get the HTML for attribution. You can download the image here, and you can download the image and attribution information. You click on the Info tab. You can verify the provider. You can see the license, the creator, and they're all hyperlinked. And of course, you can share that. Now let's do another search. We will search for a cat this time. Equal opportunity for pets here. So we have a whole bunch of cat pictures. But as I'm hovering over these, you may notice that a lot of these are coming from Flickr. And a lot of schools do block Flickr still. They still filter it. So what I'm going to do is over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to select that little filter icon. You can specify if you want something that you can use commercially, something you can modify or adapt. You can filter according to license type, including looking for just public domain works. But you can also specify the providers of the materials. So you could say that you want to have just Animal Diversity Web as a provider. And apply that filter, and now we have a different set of results. All right, there's another picture of a cat. Now, while I'm here, you notice as I hover over this picture, there's this little bookmark icon. Well, I can bookmark that image. And then anytime I have the Creative Commons Chrome extension open, I can go and click on that bookmarks, and I'll have all my pictures that I've bookmarked right there in one place. And I can still go in and get all that information about the picture that I want. So that's a short overview of the new Creative Commons Chrome extension. Should point out there is also a version available for Firefox and a version available for Opera. And finally, a big shout out to Larry Ferlazzo who shared this on his blog earlier this week, had a little write up in his EdTech Digest about it. And I give a shout out to Larry. If you're looking for good information, check out Larry's blog, larryferlazzo.edublogs.org.